we are going to discuss the method of payments. So if I right click here, go to the view details, you notice that currently I don't have any method of payments. So the methods of payments is the way you pay the vendor. I click new no, and I'd like to show you some examples. First is deciding about cutting a check. If you recall as part of my previous sessions, I showed you how to set up a bank, set up a check layout for it. Now it's time to literally have the system to convert the monetary value into the check layout. You need to specify how would you like to have the check to be cut. By default, you cut one check per each invoice, but you have the capability to cut one check for all the invoices that are due by a specific date for the same vendor, by the way, or cutting a check for the same week, or nicely, a certain organization would like to cut one check for all the invoices regardless, based on whatever they want to select. So here I just decide to do that, and then I say cut one check as a definition for all invoices. This means really a total. By default, as you see, the payment type is great to be set for business intelligence, but if you don't set it up, it doesn't make any difference. Since this is a check, I pick and choose the check, and I have to say, where do I get the money from? So I pick and choose the account type to be bank, and then I specify the bank account of mine, happens to be one of the banks that I've created it before. Let's say it's an operating bank. Now, I need to also specify the file format, and as a matter of fact, there is a setup. There are a couple of things you need to notice. There is a new settings in Dynamics X, which is not going to be discussed as part of our training in typical finance or trade and logistics. And it's called generic electronic reporting. It's a bit more advanced, and I invite you to see other sessions or other training, which is a bit more advanced after your finance and supply chain is over. What does this do? The generic electronic reporting is a new way, for those of you who have been developers, to change the layout of journals or anything that gets printed or even the payments without even a single line of code. They have given you a framework to change the format based on regulatory features of certain countries, such as UK, Spain, 